Okay, I've been getting a lot of PMs of people that are having an issue with making their own private multiplayer server on Skater XL. So I just wanted to make a video about it so I don't have to repeat myself. So the first thing you want to want to do is open the 7777 port on your IP. And the way to do that is to log in to your router. Now it's, it differs from router to router on how you log into it. So mine's a Netgear. Uh, yours could be TP-Link. It could be uh, a router that was provided to you from your IP or your IP IPS. I'm sorry. Um, and the way that you're going to find out how to log into it is just find out what brand it is, and then uh, under the router there will be a sticker that should have a login and a password for. It. If you haven't changed it, um, I've changed mine. So this is how I log into my router. Oop. It always does that. Okay, you're going to see something like this. So I've changed mine, so mine's admin, and my would be something like that. Now I'm not going to sign in. I have um, a tutorial pictures for you because it's going to have sensitive information on it. So it's going to look like this when I hit enter. And then I'm going to have to go to an advanced tab. Now, like I said before, this page might look different uh, to you from whatever router you have but it will have an advanced tab, all of them do. And then you're going to go to advanced. This is uh, going to show up. And then you're going to hit advanced setup. And then you're going to click on a tab called port forwarding. And then you're going to see something like this. Now you're seeing this because I already have my server open, but you're just going to look for something that says like add custom service, add a new port, um, etc and it's going to open up something like this. You know, your service name can be anything you want. Um, the protocol um, could be either, I think it has to be TCP, uh, UDP, because it's a game, so it's got to go in and out. So your external port is going to be 7777, and then your internal is also going to have to be 7777. Now, this uh, red circled space here is your internal IP address. I have mine uh, blacked out. But the way that you find your IPv4 address is you go down here if you're on Windows and type in CMD, open your command prompt, and then type in ipconfig. And then when you hit enter, it's going to list a bunch of things. Um, scroll up, it, it might scroll you down a little bit, so scroll up to the top a little bit, and then find your IPv4 address. And uh, just you can copy and paste it into, into uh, this area here, or just type it, it doesn't matter. Um, and then just hit apply and then you're done. You're, you have your 7777 port open on your IPv4. Now to get that to actually open is you're going to go to your server folder here and to get these contents you're going to have to go to this uh, website here that has the release 0.6.0 uh, .0 that will match the client side which is the newest, newest version right now, which is 0.6.0. So if you don't have your server um, updated, I think I had the 0.4.3 version and it wasn't like meeting up, so I couldn't open my uh, server, so I had to fix that. So I had a lot of other issues, a lot of other people had issues with that as well. So uh, you're just gonna download this and then you're gonna open the RAR and then just uh, drag all the folders into a folder on your desktop. So. Once you have that, you're going to go in your server config, and you're just going to check around here. Everything's fine. I just don't mess with it. It's fine. And then to open your server, you're going to double-click on this. And then when you see this, that means your port is working and open. So now my server is open right now. People can connect to my server right now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up Skater XL. P once we're in game, and it's going to open up this little GUI here. And then to connect to your server that you created on your port is going to be different from the IP that you give your friends. So what you're going to do here, as I have it open here, it is 127.0.0.1. So I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to do this, and then my 
username sin lol so then I'll connect the server bam when that happens when you see that box open your server is open now I want my friends to join right so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tab out and I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna type in what's my IP and then when I hit enter Google is going to show my public IP address and I'm going to copy that and I'm gonna paste that to my friends now my friends are going to take that public IP address plug it in here you know it could be like 168 dot yada 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 um, and then the port is going to be the same 7777 and then their username and they're going to connect to the server and um, since you're on the server and it's working it's going to work unless there's something on their side um, bad connection um, you know so that's pretty much it uh, it's pretty simple um, oh I wanted to go over something else uh, when you're on your own server the map uh, the map vote does not work so if you want to be on the same map as your friend just download the same map and then when you're in the game just hit start and then go to your map and then say El Toro and then uh, just load it up when, if you guys are both on the same server and load up the same map you will see each other now you can be on two different maps and on the same server but you'll see like your friend maybe floating in the, the air because they're seeing different textures from you so um, just to clear that up because I've been having some questions on that so that is pretty much for me if you have any questions I'll put my discord link uh, down so you can message me if there's anything of confusion um, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later